everyone and welcome back to Damn and Me Stress Free. Now today I'm doing a unboxing. Now I didn't purchase this one myself, my husband bought this one for me. He knew how much I liked it. And it is a square diamond painting after me saying I needed to buy more round. But I couldn't resist the picture. Anything dragons I absolutely love, love. Now you'll have to bear with me because I've got a new desk and I'm still trying to figure out which is the better way and then when I'm actually diamond painting the let the letter the lighting will be better than it is now I've just got my big ceiling light on because it's been raining non-stop all day I will say that it's come a little bit dented a little bit dented this one which is unfortunate but hopefully it's just the packaging so I've already took the plastic off oh I didn't say what size it was it is it's called snow dragon it's by Anna Stokes so I'm really happy to finally own one of her pictures and it is a big one it's 70 centimeters by 90 centimeters so let's have a little nose this so we've got a new tool kit with this one which is brilliant uh, here's the canvas double check the legend must be in here maybe so let's have a look at this first I love to get the new tool kits because I like collecting the uh, washi tapes and the cover minders I just think that they're adorable adorable and I'm glad as well that they switched over to more of a paper packaging opposed to the plastic that we see everywhere right Never. oh look at that I'm just checking my collection because I've got it up on the wall and I've not got this one, the little paw print, which is perfect for me. Perfect for me. Hey, see? Eh? 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 <laughs> That's my dog's paw print. Dog's paw print. So you do get extra baggies, which I do actually need because I need to start a backup of, uh, you know, when you've finished a kit and then you've got spur drills. I need to start doing that desperately. So you get your wax. You base it tool pen, you squish it. I think that's a seven placer and a four placer. A one placer, you get your little tweezers because it's a square. Now I wish they would give you the option if you need all this extra stuff because I don't. I feel like I'm I'm wasting things by not using them. I do feel like that's, oh, I've got this one. I've got this washi tape. Double checking, yes, I definitely have got this one. But doesn't time to have a backup now, does it? We can move all these to the side and put the rubbish over here, keep it in one place. So the canvas, yes, it's uh, it's a bit of a big one. It's not as big as the Drawgon manual, but it's a big one. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to probably struggle showing you this all on camera with how big that I imagine it's going to be. Oh, I'm liking the colours. Let's see, it's a bit bent though, but I'm sure that that will, you know, straighten out. And then the dog decides to make a bed. As soon as I clip the card, look at him. It just reminded me of Viserion from Game of Thrones when he gets changed. Spoilers. <laughs> so that's why I wanted this one. So we've got uh, a manual that uh, explains how to do it, how to diamond paint. And you've got, you know, coupons and then you can download the app. Now, I do recommend that you download the app because the first time you do, you get a code on there that you can use 20% off, which is brilliant. So, yeah, it shows you step by step. Funnily enough, my mum bought a cheap diamond painting. She's not diamond painted before and I was telling her about this hobby. And she got a cheap one on, off Amazon. And she couldn't understand how to work it. She had to bring it round here and I had to show her how to kit it up because there was no leaflet with it. So I think that's really, really handy for beginners. Let's have a look. There's 43 colors. So obviously lots of blues, lots of grays and blacks, which I don't mind. But I'm just looking around my bedroom wall because again, if it's a dragon, I want it up on my wall. I want it up on my wall. So let's bring it up. Oh, it's lovely, this one. I only said adorable. That's not the right word. That is definitely not that, not the right word. But I think this one will be epic when it's done. Absolutely fantastic. And it will take me quite some time with such um, a large canvas. Now, I will mention the, the Diamond Art Club canvases. They are glitterer. 
try and catch it on the camera just about the the eye glitter and I just find that they're beautiful to work on if I'm going to be spending hours and hours and hours which this is going to take me probably 60, 70, 80 hours to do I want to enjoy what I'm doing and the canvas definitely helps with that I've tried cheaper diamond paintings and the, cam the, the canvas has been you know rough and you know it's just not as nice quality not as nice quality so even though these are you know on the pricier side I think I managed to get this on the sale, I think it was £67, I think what my husband paid he sent me £60, so I think it was around £67, give or take, but yeah, I, uh, is it a he or a she, I think, I think I'll probably end up calling him a he, just try and straighten this out a little bit, now, as always, I don't really want to take the drills out of the packaging, because if I do that, I won't get them back in again. So let me have a look at, I think is anything below, is it 150 or anything below the symbol, I'm not sure, I'm still relatively new to diamond painting, I'm still learning all the tricks and tips and everything, um, so I know that definitely number one, 141, is a Aurora Borealis one, and I think it is just the one, which I'm not mad about, I'm not mad about, there it is because I have such a difficult time placing Aurora Borealis. The way that I've found is best is have a damp cloth and then get one of these. Have a damp cloth and either get one of these or um, the pen that you're using and dab it onto the bank damp cloth and then pick it up. Otherwise, it just pulls the wax out of the pen and I'm forever getting annoyed at it. So if anybody's got any other tips on um, I used to solve that issue because it is really irritating so I'm sort of gravitating towards more diamond paintings that have not got the ABs even though they're absolutely stunning to look at they're a pain in the bottom to place so I'm thoroughly looking forward to uh, starting this and that dark green let me see if I can find it on the chart I think that would be number 26 which is it looks like a lollipop it looks like a lollipop, so let's see if I can find it on the here. Well, it might actually be the star. It looks like it, it is in the trees. It looks like that it is in the trees. But I'm thoroughly, thoroughly looking forward to starting this one. I'm just debating whether to start apples, drawgon, or possibly this. What do we think? What do we think? Like I said, I did get a new desk, so please do bear with me with the lighting situation. I've got one camera set up over there that's perfectly fine. It's just this side that I'm having the uh, issues with. Teething problems, teething problems. But yeah, that is the... Is it Snow Dragon? Is that literally what it's called? Snow Dragon, yeah. We'll have to think of a name for him, so I'm not just calling him Dragon. Or shall I just call him Viserion? I think I might just call him Viserion. So... I hope that you enjoyed the video, just a quick little one, little one to get my feet, uh, my toes wet again into the diamond painting uh, recording because uh, I've not recorded in a little while the videos that you would have seen previously are videos that I've uploaded onto my colouring channel so if you've come from there and you've watched them videos again thank you very much, thank you very much but take care of yourself and until my next video, bye!